major win today in the fight against opioids. Today, the U.S. Department of Justice announcing that it's reached an $8 billion settlement with the makers of OxyContin for its role in addicting millions to opioids. But what does this mean for the state of Utah? ABC4's Nicole Newman reports. Small white pills that deliver a strong dose of pain relief so powerful, a taker runs the risk of becoming addicted. I went from doing everything that quote unquote normal people do to I was then homeless in downtown Los Angeles addicted to heroin. This is OxyContin, a medication that's caused Ian Rader serious emotional pain despite relieving his physical pain of dealing with two broken elbows. And I was prescribed painkillers for them. And I was really shocked on how easy it was that doctors were kind of dealing them out. Today, OxyContin's maker Purdue Pharma agreed to pay out $8 billion and close its company for its role in creating the opioid crisis. In my professional opinion and my private opinion, you know, big conglomerates and big pharma took advantage of sick people. It's the result of pleading guilty to the U.S. Department of Justice suit on behalf of multiple states, including Utah. The settlement today opens the door to yet another really long process. That process includes evaluating the assets of the company and its owners, as well as seeing if the company goes into a trust to determine the total value of the estate. There are a number of factors that need to go in there before we determine exactly how much money there is, how to divide it up, and then what the individual states are going to get. The final amount will be determined in court. That process is anticipated to happen within a year. In Salt Lake County, Nicole Newman, ABC4 News.